This week, 344 new stalls were installed throughout the United States and Canada, which is a higher than average number, so we had a good showing from pretty much everyone involved. Bringing the total stall count to 57,488, Blink added 9 stations, 7-Eleven added 3, but there is a data entry error here, which I'll call out in a second. Circle K added 2, including the very large 10-stall station in Wilson, North Carolina off Interstate 95 that is co-mingled with the Tesla supercharger. Pilot Flying J added one, but that's just one into the database. I actually know of multiple other ones that have opened this past week. They're just not in the database yet, and they seem to be on an opening binge since the election ended. I'm not quite sure why they were waiting for the election to end, but um, maybe that's just coincidence. I'm not sure. Tesla added 13 stations. Electrify America added two. ChargePoint added 20. EVgo added three. EVConnect added five. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First is Blink, and most of their stations have open dates uh, recently, so some of this data is looking pretty good. And what I'd like to call out is on personal interest, Glenview, Illinois, which is my hometown uh, on the North Shore of Chicago, home of Glenbrook South High School and the Glenbrook South Titans, where I played football. And here's 7 Eleven. And if you look at the Chem Loops, which was not this past week, I'm just calling this out, you see an A and a B station. So I thought those were just two different. Um, either stations or something, and I didn't really look on PlugShare, but Palm Beach Gardens has 41621 and 41621A, and both have four stalls, but when you look it up on PlugShare, it's just one station in Palm Beach Gardens, and they it has four stalls, so it appears to be a data entry error here, um, which may be corrected at a later time, I don't know. So basically it's two stations, uh, Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and Crossville, um, Alberta, both four stalls. Circle K added two, as I mentioned, the uh, large 10 stall station in Wilson, North Carolina off Interstate 95. I did visit it. It's really nice, uh, new construction. They put in a crystal fast food and it's immediately off the interstate. It's a really nice station. Um, there's 10 native uh, Circle K ABB Terra 184 stalls. And then there's also, I think, um, 12 Tesla supercharger stalls, so it makes a very large station. And not to be outdone, Santa Rosa, California has 10 stalls at a Taco Bell. Pilot Flying J has one new one in the database. Expect more next week at Laredo, Texas, at the extreme southern end of Texas near the Mexican border. Four stalls. Here's Tesla. There's a very large 28 stall in Sacramento, California, which opened up. And uh, 220 stalls also in California. California is very heavily targeted by the Tesla supercharger, and rightly so. Santa Maria, 20 stalls at Acorn Shopping Center. And Victorville at the Home Depot, 20 stalls. And otherwise, a couple in Texas and uh, one in Marathon, Florida. That's a good location. Bolingbrook, Illinois, outside of Chicago at a mayor. Uh, Wawa and New Jersey. So tons of good stuff going on here. I will like to call, would like to call out that if you see the connector type, it's all Tesla. It's now been three weeks since there's been any magic dock locations. So they apparently have uh, changed direction and are no longer in, installing or activating magic docks. Um, the pattern is very clear. It used to be I don't know, a third of the locations would have magic dots, maybe a fifth of the location would have magic dots, but now for the last three weeks it's been zero, and uh, that's unusual. Charge point. The data entry worked well with my coalescing of uh, locations, so the address fields were keyed correctly, which is always nice for me um, to be able to kind of trim these up a little bit. GPM and investments, I might have to break them out into their own subcategory of charge point. Two stall station in Tuscan, Arizona. They were purchased, but they're continuing with their DC fast charger installs. So, um, pretty cool stuff there. They run the Roadrunner and a few other brands of convenience stores. A four stall station at a Ford dealership in Buena Park, California. Also, pretty cool. And Clear Lake, Iowa, Elmhurst, Illinois. Um, what was the other one I was looking at? Uh, anyway, it escapes me now. Electrify America added two Evolve New York partnerships, Spencer Port, New York, four stalls, and also the Simon Mall in Tulsa, 10 stalls. 
If you go edit three, a McDonald's in Minnesota, and then two in California, one of which is 10 stalls, which for Electrify, I'm sorry, which for EVgo is very big. So Rancho Mirage, California, Marita, California, and St. Paul, Minnesota. EV Connect is continuing on. Um, they're always very steady and their data entry is always nice and crisp and clean. So I really like them for that. And you will notice that we have General Motors branded dealerships getting EV Connect. My uh, friend of the channel, Eric Way of the News Coulomb channel, one time said that General Motors is like a battleship. It takes a while for her to turn, but once she does, she's a um, real force to be reckoned with. And that's kind of what we're seeing playing out here. All these General Motors branded dealerships are getting uh, DC fast chargers and starting to sell electric vehicles and really starting to make some waves in the uh, DC fast charger space. One honorable mention that I thought worthy of calling out in the database, I saw these rows, which is Delta Airlines, apparently in the Atlanta airport is uh, installing DC fast chargers for some reason. I don't know if it's for buses, electric buses or kind of a thing or some kind of uh, service transport, not quite sure, but there are five charge point DC fast chargers going in at the Atlanta airport. Thanks for watching.